The summertime is here and you know what that means? That we can finally build all these Lego sets that I've been planning to build for a whole year long. Uh, unless, unless you're a wedding photographer, then there's no time to build Legos in summer. Because it's a wedding season and finally we have a wedding season after last year that you know how it was. And I've been meaning to make this video for a while now. I'm gonna show you what's in my bag, what's in my bag for weddings, what cameras do I have, what lenses do I use. I've upgraded some lenses, so I'm excited to share with you everything in this video. Let's get into it right away. My name is Magic. I'm a wedding photographer, Sony Europe ambassador, father of four children. Welcome to my channel, the channel about wedding photography, uh, gear, wedding photography, and, and gear, and maybe some Legos. You see, like we've managed to build one. That's the new one. That's the ATST from Mandalorian. It's pretty cool, I have to say. Although, I'm pretty bummed and disappointed uh, with the Mandalorian Mando mini fig. Look at him. Look at this head, like, can you see? There's no head, it's just a black piece. Come on, Lego, we know the face of Mandalorian, just give us Mandalorian. But yeah, let's get into the stuff that you are in here for, which is what is um, in my bag. So I actually gonna show you, I have two bags that I take with me for each wedding. So that's my main bag that I put everything in it when I travel, etc. And then I have this smaller bag that this is just like this addition that I have on me all the time with you know the most necessary stuff in it. I'm actually gonna start with the importance in the order of the importance of the things that I have um, on me. So starting with this big backpack, this is a backpack from Companion, German company. It's pretty freaking cool. It's the coolest uh, backpack that I've ever had. It's actually, I think, called the backpack or the backpack 2.0. Um, look at this leather here at the at the back it's beautiful it's just beautiful and it's huge so it, it can fit everything that I take with me and here on the top uh, there's this roll top that I usually put my clothes in uh, it has this magnetic opening but except the clothes I also have my straps in there so the straps that I use I use dual camera harness from a uh, hold fast but I don't use the leather one I used to use the leather one I have two leather ones uh, my old ones but as, like as soon as I switched to a lighter camera a few years ago meaning mirrorless I also switched my uh, my uh, straps so now I'm wearing this which is a camera swag by hold fast so this is the same company uh, you know the same way of hanging your cameras but just like a lighter version and a colorful version a red one which is awesome so um, that's number one and then if we get into the backpack uh, it opens from the back okay so we have this a really awesome beautiful back uh, here uh, it looks really good I think it, like few times I've been asked at the airport when I was putting this backpack on the you know uh, on the line for security people are like oh this backpack is amazing where did you get it so yeah it is pretty slick so it opens from the back so the back opens up like this and then on the back of the back you actually have all these you know little pockets that are removable and you can you know also switch the places of them and what I keep in these pockets are you know all these cables so I have charger for my phone I have charger for my watch I have some spare batteries and I have some more cables if I want to charge something and these guys they never leave the backpack they are always here uh, so so you know so I don't get mixed up with not having my charger or something like that and then there's a pocket for the laptop as well uh, but yes yeah, speaking of the main compartment look here so so the main two things that I keep in here is gonna be my main two cameras camera number one so camera A 
is my Sony A7R 3 uh, it's been with me for three seasons it's a fourth season that I'm, I'm using this camera um, and on the camera number one so the main camera I have 35 G master so my favorite new 35 mil lens and then on the camera number two uh, which is my second main camera this is the same camera also a7r3 I like keeping two the same cameras on me uh, just for consistency of files and and you know everything is the same with these cameras so like I like having two cameras of the same kind and then I have 50 G Master on here as my new favorite 50 uh, mil lens. Uh, why do I still rock the a7R threes? These are pretty old cameras you know in tech for years it's a lot but to be honest uh, I was kind of waiting for something to switch my cameras to but the only thing that I would want to switch my cameras to would be A1 and since I want to have two cameras of the same kind I would need to get two A1s. And this is pretty an investment since, and since I got the lenses this year, I figured that I'm probably gonna upgrade later on. Um, so started with the lenses, cameras are fine. Um, they work like a charm with these new lenses. So I, I have nothing bad to say about these cameras, even though they're really um, quite old in the tech world. And that's, so th that's in, in, in terms of importance, that's the most important stuff. I put this on my straps and, and, and that's it. But I'm gonna close the backpack right now because then we're gonna switch to what else I have on me for the most of the day, which is the pouch. Okay, so that's the uh, sightseer bag. So this is actually a bag, this is not pouch. This is a bag and it also has this strap that you can just put in here and just uh, I use it as my daily bag as well. Uh, but for, for the weddings, I use this amazing hook here. Um, so since it's made also by Holdfast, uh, it's called Sightseer Bags. You, you can see Holdfast. So I can put this hook right here on my, uh, on my straps and I have it next to my cameras. And what is here is all of my necessary accessories to the main cameras and the main lenses um, so if you look inside the bag first of all it's beautiful it's super well made it's like the interiors are just to die for amazing stuff two pockets so what I have here it's gonna be two lenses um, the first one it's gonna be 24 G master so like a wider angle prime lens so the one that I would probably replace 35 with 24 if I'm in a tight space or if I'm shooting dance floor stuff I made a video about this lens so you can check it out uh, in the description as well as on the 35 and a 50 all of these lenses I made videos on if you want to get into the specific lenses and then another lens lens would be a tighter one so 85 1.8 uh, why 85 1.8 not G master G master it's a big lens I'm not 85 shooter you know per se uh, I use it very occasionally uh, just to have this this extra reach so I don't need you know the heavier version this one is amazing it's fast it has like everything I want from 85 mil lens and what else here in the bag is uh, a memory cards in this rugged case so they are safe I'm, I'm gonna show what cards I use in a second and then um, here as well there are two pockets so in one pocket I have full batteries uh, so replacement batteries and as soon as I switch the batteries in my cameras I'm gonna put the empty ones in a second pocket so there's a full batteries pocket and then there's empty batteries pocket and also here on the left you might see that I have this you know this little cloth microfiber thing uh, so you know when you are when you're shooting stuff like in the rain or uh, under waterfall it might be helpful just to you know clean your lens from time to time okay let's get back to the backpack because uh, it has more stuff but but not as essential as this like this is everything like most of the stuff I would need for the most part uh, for, for the most parts of the day um, so that is why it's in a pouch and it's on me for most of the time and then the backpack is usually somewhere in the back room of the reception you know somewhere when I don't have immediate access to that I, I don't need just right away in a five seconds but somewhere that I can you know just get into if I need to pick something up and what I have here 
would be. Bam, let's open. Three more lenses, but these are kind of like more fun lenses, so something additional to what I need. So like all of these four uh, Sony lenses are the ones that I actually need, and these ones are for fun. So there's like uh, Leica Sumilux 50 1.4, uh, the lens that I exclusively now use just for the flare. It has amazing flair. Whenever there's a nice sunset, I'll take my couple and try shooting some backlit portraits with this. I made a video how I use it. You can find it in the description as well. And then I have, uh, this, is, this is occasionally, very occasionally, I'll take this lens, uh, which is old car size, Bjorder lens. Uh, it has amazing bokeh. That's it. So if I have just more time, if I know I'm gonna have a lot of time to play with, I might take this lens. And the third, last but not least, uh, I'm gonna have some tilt shift lens, some, some tilt shift also for the effects on me. So right now I'm rocking this old Canon 35L lens adapted on this, you know, funky, very weird tilt adapter. So I can kind of use a tilt um, with this lens. And then um, I might have this one, it creates really nice, uh, really nice portraits. Or I might gonna go with 24 or a 45 tilt shift that I have in, in my office. So one of the tilt shifts, I'm not gonna take all three, I'm just gonna take one. I'm preparing a tilt shift video, so uh, if you're into tilt shifts, let me know in the comments and I'm, I'm, it's, it's on the list, but uh, I might get it sooner or later, depending on, on you guys. And then, Two more accessories is gonna be my flash units. Uh, so my main flash unit right now is Profoto A1X, like hands down the best flash I have ever used so far. Uh, it has this huge screen here at the back, uh, you know, reminds me of a uh, kind of Apple style thing, you know, huge screen with this dial like straight from the iPod, uh, it's beautiful. And then uh, it, it, it never let me down, it, it flashes every single time, uh, like 10 frames per second for, con you know, continuous many, many seconds, I can just use this, this, this bad boy, it's amazing. And then on top of that, you, you, see, you see this? It has a, like a flashlight kind of, uh, it's, mod it's called modeling light, uh, so there's an LED light here. So this I'll also use as my constant light from time to time, either for portraits or for dance for action as well. Uh, so that's pretty dope, so I have like kind of two lights in one with this flash unit. Uh, and then I also have a Sony's flash as my small flash, I have like this 45 Sony flash, which is, you know, which is a flash. That's like, doesn't have like any special features to it, but works, it's small, takes small batteries, and it's on my second camera most of the time. So as you can see, I kind of emptied most of the backpack, but woo -hoo -hoo, there's a bonus compartment down here for things like, uh, like remote controller for flash, some cables for chargers, the actual charger, so a Profoto battery charger, a Sony battery charger, so I can, you know, recharge whenever I'm out of juice. And then, that's a special thing. Uh, let me show you this. So what I have here is a Instax printer. That's Fujifilm Share SP3 Square, so a printer for square images, and then there's wooden banana box with my logo engraved on it. Uh, was it what is it for? It's for the surprise for my couples. Every single time I try to surprise my couples, at the end of the wedding, when I say goodbye, um, I, I transfer some files from my uh, uh, cameras to my phone. I pick some favorite ones, and then I'm gonna print them. And then I'm gonna put them in this box along with some branding material. So some stickers, some fridge magnets, something fun. Uh, and then when I say goodbye to the couple, I'm gonna hand it to them as a surprise gift for my departure. And they always go crazy. Oh my God! <laughs> like literally crazy. Uh, they don't expect anything like this and uh, you know, this is the best possible, you know, finale of my service at the wedding saying goodbye, you know, like 
you know, finishing with a bang. That's, that's what I do. That's how I roll. I love it. It works great. I do encourage all of you guys to try it out because it's pretty freaking awesome. And that is it. Two bags, two cameras, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lenses and some accessories. Also very important thing that I always use and I think all of you should be using is my presets. Magic Adabra presets. A link is in the bottom. Go get my presets. I edit all the photos with my presets. If you like my photos, if you like the colors, try the presets. You like them. And if you don't, you just feel like, hey, I supported Magic. He's a cool guy. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, let me know down in comments what do you guys use uh, in your bag. If maybe you have some special bonus stuff that you also uh, use at the weddings. Let me know. I'm curious to hear all of your stuff. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Ciao.